Hello YouTube, my name is Omnioman. Today, I've been a little bit uh, not up to date, but I have kept off of social media for the pure reason of reacting to some lovely content from Sonic Frontiers, it's world premiere. I saw the little 30 second clip trailer just yesterday, so, or no, the day before. So this is gonna be brand new for me. I haven't seen any of this today. It's a little bit later on in the day, 6.27 p.m. right now. So I'm a little bit late, but this is my first blind reaction to this stuff. So let's take a look at it and uh, commentate a little bit about it and uh, kind of just analyze kind of what's going on here. So let's uh, jump straight into it. Hey, Omni Gang. Before we continue, if you enjoy watching this content, make sure to leave a like and a comment to let me know your thoughts on the video. It helps the channel a lot and helps support me to make more future content. And if you want to see my future content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified on when my next video comes out. With all of that being said, let's get straight into the video. This is looking very interesting. Um, it's kind of weird in the background where there's all those random rails, but I don't know. It, it looks pretty good. What I saw in the last trailer, I mean, okay. I saw like a little pink heart there. I wonder, I wonder if that was like a life or something. First up, we've got Maybe we should turn it up. Yeah, let's turn this up. Exploring the mysterious island that Sonic suddenly finds himself stranded on so, at the start of the game. Just some sure random island. IGN throughout June, so you don't miss anything. So this is so all stuff that we've seen before, the for the most part. From Sonic Frontiers. But wow, that's I think that's a new shot. That looks really, really good. Wow, very open world. Okay, new gameplay. There's some like random springs just up there. What the hell? Oh, the draw distance looks a little bit bad. Not, not too bad though, but like, oh, I can't tell if like, that's just my computer lagging or if that's a game lagging, but okay. So that looks, that looks like a light or life or something like that, but very interesting. So we have to, we have to drop down, which is good. So it's very familiar commands. Although the wall running is very good. That dash into the spring was interesting. I'm not sure what that was. If that's like a ground homing. And these tokens? That's brand new. Um, but wow, it looks very, very aesthetically pleasing. Oh, and the rails. That reminds me of Angel Island from Sonic Generations. That really does. And then, wow, okay. Oh, and now he's just climbing because he's going slow. Wow. And then he starts running up. That's really interesting. But what is this structure? Like, it looks very otherworldly for Sonic, in a way, you know? Like, it's familiar, yet not. I can hear his screenshot sounds. <laughs> oh, so those are like balloons. Very nice. Yeah, that is so cool. Wow. So, what's the point of this? Okay, so there's a rail that drops all the way down with a spring, but wow. I'm a little bit concerned about all those, like, random rails in the background. Though, that are just falling over the ocean, but yeah, right! Like, literally, like Sonic 06. This, I get, I'm, I am getting some serious Sonic 06 vibes from this. That's actually really nice. Like, it does have like some choppy things, like the rails in the background, like, I have to keep mentioning that. And the draw distance a little bit, that's kind of more like kind of what you'd expect from the original Sonic 06, but it still doesn't look bad by any means. And it definitely looks very smooth, like, gameplay-wise. And what the hell is that red fruit-looking thing? It looks like it's a model bear from Pokemon, almost. But wow. And then there's, like, environmental destruction? Okay, that is really smooth. But I'm really interested in what these collectibles are supposed to be. And oh, there's an enemy. But he just sped right on past it. Well, I think I just went right after him. What the heck? I, wow, this is so smooth. Holy crap. Literally just going along the river. Ha. Oh my god, and it's such smooth, like... Yeah, right? And the way he just, like, moved onto the walls, too. That really is what Sonic 06 should have been like. And the tricks are back? Okay. Oh my god, and the waterfall. It's so beautiful. 
I never would have expected this from a Sonic game. Oh my god, and he's, don't tell me he's gonna go right up it. Oh my god. Wow. So it's very, very open world, and three statues, and whatever the hell that little gate is. Not so little, I mean, but damn, I like the design. Like, there's just rippling pattern on it. But what is the point of... Oh, he's moving the statue. Oh, wow. Yo, that is such major Sonic 06 vibes. Wow. And then what's this question mark? So, like... Is this, like, for tasks or quests that you have to complete or something? Oh. What is that? Is that, like, one of his attacks? That kind of goes back to, like, what we saw in the original trailer with that weird boost effect. Okay. And then another sort of collectible shows up. Whoa. That is sick. That's like some sick ass arena type of thing. Wow. Well, like, literally, there's like so much that the whoever's playing as long as just going past, and like, I want to know more. Oh my god, there's just a seagull that's like twice the size of Sonic. <laughs> Damn, I, I would have thought Sonic would have been a little bit bigger, but I guess not. He's smaller than a seagull. I guess they're going back to the whole thing of uh, Sonic being like. Life size, <laughs> man, that is so crazy. Like the birds just flying alongside him, running through the forest. Like that is scenic as hell. That is very scenic as hell. And running on the water, nice. So like, what is even going on here, though? Are we gonna get anything else other than like some gameplay that like is a just him running around or what? Like, I'm coming back there and now we're here. It's a very nice engine. It is a very, very nice engine. Like, they definitely look like they put a lot of work into the gameplay engine of this. And that's like, really nice to see. And okay, this is kind of interesting. That kind of reminds me of like Super Mario Galaxy where you had like the step on all the platforms. So, oh wow, it... It really is just like that. If you step onto, like, one that you haven't just stepped on, then it's gonna, like, cancel. Huh. That's really neat. And then another collectible, that, like, tomato berry looking thing from Pokemon. Again. Interesting. And then there's this, like, sweet little game. I, I thought it sounded like a clip of that in the last trailer, but... Seriously, like, what does all of this stuff do? Like, it's sending out these pulses or whatever, and then making these collectibles show up, but what does it all mean? Like, I feel like I- I feel like I was just looking at some sort of, like, ARG game, almost. Like, it's, like, so mysterious. Like, that is not what I expected from, uh, the Sonic Frontiers trailer, but it looks so good. But I'm- not sure when the game is coming out. I think it's coming out um, later this year. But uh, like, it, it looks like it's still very much in development. It really looks like it's still very much in development. Like literally, if actually coming back to this, coming back to this, like I want to look over a couple just shots from this that definitely make me like a little bit concerned. I think um, once we get up to here maybe yeah okay so looking right back there looking in the corner look at all those rails that are just floating around like that doesn't look like it belongs it looks like it's like from a tech demo or something you can even see like if to the furthermost left side in the middle right where, where my cursor is floating over it's very hard to see maybe you'll see a little bit better if i go on the big desktop yeah uh, it's not it's just underneath my camera right now but like like, all of the rails that are just, like, floating around the ocean or whatever, it looks off. And, I, like I said before, I can't tell if it's because my computer is, like, lagging or something while streaming. But it looked like the video was a little bit choppy, so, like, it, it does have me concerned.
for how well the game is actually going to run and whether or not like um it's going to feel very complete because we haven't gotten any story th we haven't gotten anything story wise so far so i think that's a good sign because this definitely looks like it's just like some demo gameplay pretty much like not complete and that's kind of usual for like the cycle of video game development trailers and whatnot so I have pretty high hopes so far, at the very least. I have pretty I have pretty high hopes so far. But yeah, I guess that's gonna be kind of it for the uh Sonic Frontiers world premiere gameplay from IGN. So yeah, uh I definitely recommend uh keeping an eye out for more Sonic Frontiers uh news and whatnot. I'll be sure to cover all of that as all of that stuff goes along. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed, and until the next one, Omni Gang, take care of yourselves and stay wild.